How you guys doing? I'm Eddie with Money Soldiers Trades. Today we're going to be going over the TradeStation 10 platform. All right, uh, first thing we're going to do is we are. I'm going to go through a couple settings in the preferences here under desktop. I'm going to make sure always that confirm when removing a window from the workspace is checked as well as in view. Make sure we show the title bars. Click OK and then we're going to get right to it. We're going to open one chart. And we're going to resize that to what we want. Remember, the title bar will not be there later, so um, size accordingly. And then we can go ahead and start by linking one of these right now. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the time frame, five minute for this chart, and then um, add study. All right. The first first thing I'm going to do is go and select the moving average, simple moving average one line. And then we can, uh, once that's in there, we can double click that. Click inputs, 200 day, style. I like to uh, have a cross for my style on my 200 day moving average. Make it more transparent so it's not in the way. And then uh, red, 200 day EMA. In the five minute as well as the 15 second is often a uh, an area of support and resistance um, something to keep an eye on and then I'm going to go in here and add more studies this time I'm going to go to the two line exponential moving average okay again go to the moving average double click it inputs the nine is fine but for me I prefer the 20 you can pick whatever you you would like whatever your preference is and for style, um, my fast EMA, I would like that one to be a dotted line. And then for my colors, the slow EMA, I'll switch that to gray. And there we go. And now um, we'll go into settings and check and see if there's anything we need to under window. So basically, um, Spacing, you might want to adjust the spacing to the right depending on if you want your PL to show up and if your PL is sort of hidden, you can come here and you can change this to 20, 15, whatever it is that makes it right where you get the most chart and have your PL or whatever whatever you have there. And as far as this, I don't need a lot of these in mine. Um, percent change and last is great. The bid and the ask and the open, don't need any of that low what I really need is just the volume these right here all right and um, the font that's all up to you the color you can change your color of your display values and and such and then your grids you can I like to have a uh, That's all fine. Okay, and then um, since we have our chart now, we can go ahead. Again, uh, another thing that if you later for later on, you need to go in your account. You click on data here, and then you click uh, account. And if you have more than one account with TradeStation, you click here, and you'll have a drop down to choose which account. I think um, this is my SIM right now, and that's all there is on um, that. And my other one, I have my my two two main accounts that would be in there. So, um, anyways, so you just want to make sure that the proper account is checked. You can set it as default. Click OK. We're good to go. And if you don't want your order lines or anything to be displayed, you can just uncheck this. But if you do want your PL order lines or any of that, just leave that checked. You go into settings, and if you want uh, position arrows to be to be there when you get filled, you can keep that checked. I don't like that. Um, as for open, you can leave your P&L and, and your average price. You want to extend that to the left, maybe change the color of that line there to whatever you choose. Um, you can set that as default also. And now that we've taken care of that, what we would do is we want to copy this window. We want to paste one two, 
three and four. All right, so what we'll do is we'll take those and line them up the best we can. Okay, I guess I chose a couple too many, or one too many. But that's fine, because we need that for later anyways. That's what I was going to say anyways, is um, you might want to copy another chart to put off to the side somewhere. And uh, I know we're using up a lot of real estate. I have a much bigger monitor that I use normally. And this one, I would change this one to the daily or the weekly, depending on what you like to see for your SPY. You can delete those, and then you can just add the 200 EMA. And if you'd like to, you can go and uh, add study, and you can add another one here, and click that for your simple EMA. Choose whatever color you'd like for it. Um, gray would be fine for now. And put your 50. Or if you'd prefer, you can put your 200 EMA and your 65 EMA. It's all up to your preferences. So now over here, we're going to ch change the time frame to 15 second. Again, 15 second. And... Uh, you can go back into your preferences once you're done with this as well as the other things that you're setting up go to view hide all toolbars actually before we do that real quick I want to make sure that we link all of these together you can link them whatever whatever color you prefer this one you want to leave unlinked because it's the spy and you don't want to every time you type in a, a symbol a ticker you don't want to have it changing that on you but this one these will change to your trade bar there and these will change to your other trade bar so back to the preferences like I was saying desktop and hide all toolbars and there you go that'll get you started with the charts on TradeStation 10 platform thank you I'm Andy with Mighty Soldiers Trades come check us out hi I'm Sarah with Mighty Soldiers Trades we really appreciate your support if you like that video, please like and subscribe. Thanks.